Are you a smoker? Today we're going to look at five proven ways to stop or quit smoking. Before you get the motivation to quit smoking, you first have to look at the advantages and disadvantages of smoking. First of all, smoking kills cause it causes lung cancer and other diseases. When you quit smoking, you be able to save money. Your health will improve. You will increase your self-esteem and your friends and family will be able to benefit because they will be living in a smoke-free environment. The first step to stop smoking is to take the decision to stop smoking. Deciding that you are ready to quit smoking is only half the battle. Knowing where to start on your path to become smoke-free can help you to take the leap. We have put together the most effective ways for you to stop smoking today. Tobacco use and exposure to secondhand smoke are responsible for 408,000 deaths every year in the U.S. alone. Then what about the global population? Quitting smoking is not a single event. It can't happen in one day. It's a journey. By quitting, you improve your health and the quality and duration of your life, as well as the lives of those people around you. To quit smoking, you not only need to alter your behavior and cope with the withdrawal symptoms from cutting nicotine out of your life, You'll be able to manage your moods and be able to live life at its best. So here are the five ways to keep smoking. You have to first of all prepare for the quit day. That's the day that you have decided that you'll be quitting smoking. Once you have decided to stop smoking, you are ready to set a quit date. Pick a date that is not too far in the future so that you don't change your mind, but which gives you enough time to prepare. There are several ways to stop smoking, but ultimately you need to decide whether you are going to quit abruptly or continue smoking right up to the date that you decided to stop smoking. You can quit gradually or reduce the number of cigarette intakes slowly until you, the, your quit, quit date, and then you stop. But remember, even great writers have editors. Don't walk the path alone. Inform your friends, your relatives, or anybody who will be able to remind you that you decided to quit smoking. You can tell friends, family, co-workers, and you inform them on, on, about your quit date. Then throw away all the cigarettes and ashtrays. Decide whether you are going to go a cold turkey or use nicotine replacement therapy or other medicines. If you plan to attend a stop smoking group, then sign up for one. These groups are available at earth centers, at your church, at your mosque, anywhere in the, society, in the society. Stock up on all substitutes such as hard candy, sugarless gum, carrot sticks, coffee stairs, straws, and toothpicks. This will help you to replace the anxiety of having a cigarette in your mouth. Set up a support system, such as a family member that has successfully quit and is happy to help you 
or a friend who has already quit smoking. Ask friends and family who smoke to not smoke around you. Remember, when you see someone smoking, you'll be tempted to go back to the same vice that you decided to leave. If you have tried to quit smoking before, think about what worked and what did not work. Remember, failure is not an end. You have the faith that you can quit smoking. Try it again. Daily activities such as getting up in the morning, finishing a meal, and taking a coffee break can often trigger your urge to smoke a cigarette. But breaking the association between the trigger and the smoking is a good way to help you to fight the urge to smoke. On your quit day, do not smoke at all. Stay busy. Begin to use your NRT or the nicotine removal treatment if you have chosen to use one. Attend a stop smoke group session or for up a self-help plan. Drink more water and juice. Avoid individuals who are smoking. Avoid situations where in you have a strong urge to smoke. This could be include bars, smoking lounges, and clubs. You will almost certainly feel the urge to smoke many times during your quit day, but it will pass. So don't mind. Stay firm to your decisions. Delay until the carving passes. The urge to smoke often comes and goes within three to five minutes. Take deep breath. Breathe in slowly through your nose for a count of three and exhale. Through your mouth for a count of three. Then visualize your lungs filling with fresh air. That feeling that you have that your lungs are having fresh air will help you to persist and go on with your choice. Drink water, sip by sip, to beat the carving for cigarettes. Do something else to distract yourself. Perhaps go for a walk or a chat with a friend. Remember, the four Ds can often help you to improve beyond your urge to light up. The second option is to use NRTs. NRTs are medication or therapy that are popular for help smokers to stop smoking. So try NRTs to reduce the carving and withdraw symptoms you experience that you may hinder your attempt to give up smoking. NRTs are designed to wean your body off cigarettes and supply you with a controlled dose of nicotine while sparing you from exposure to other chemical, chemicals found in tobacco. You can use other food uh, like skin patches, chewing gums, lozenes, nozzle sprays, and inhalers. If you have decided to go down the NRT route, discuss your dose with a health care professional before you quit smoking. Remember that while you will be more likely to quit smoking using NRT, the goal is to end your addiction to nicotine altogether and not just to quit tobacco. So contact a professional health worker to tell you and help you during the experience. You, will, you might experience dizziness, weakness, nausea, vomiting, fast or irregular heartbeat, mouth problems, a skin swelling while, you, while using NRTs. The third option is consider non-nicotine medication. This can include Zeban, Veracerin, Zactin, and others. Talk to your health care provider if you feel that you would like to try one of these to help you to stop smoking, as you will need pres a prescription. Broprin is taken in tablets form for 12 weeks, but if you have successfully quit smoking in that time, you can use it for a further 3 to 6 months to reduce the risk of smoking lipals. 
varicelline interface with the nicotine receptors in the brain, which is that in reducing the pressure that you get from tobacco. So you can use it in 12 weeks successfully, but if, it, if you're able to quit smoking before that, then you can still continue using it until you feel like you can never go to smoking again. Then the fourth option is to seek behavioral support. The emotional and physical dependence you have on smoking makes it challenging to stay away from nicotine. After you, your quit day, to quit you need to tackle this dependence, trying counseling services, therapeutic materials and support services can help you to get through this time. As usual, civical Physical symptoms get better over time, so don't fear when you get some symptoms. Then you can combine using NRTs and other medications so that you can quit easily. So with that, I think you'll be able to quit smoking and be healthy again. Deal TV. Learn and earn.